In Kotlin, strings are also known as objects. So if we stick with our traditional example of full name, and we explicitly define the type of string and set it to Don Felker, we now have an object known as full name that contains the value of Don Felker. We can call different methods and properties on the full name variable by typing dot to get perhaps the length. This will provide us the length here. I'm gonna duplicate this line by pressing Command D. I can also get the actual you know, characters in it, which are gonna provide us a, a stream of characters. I can do a whole bunch of different other things on side of here as well. So uh, for example, I can decapitalize it. So let's do decapitalize. And if I were to run these, we're going to see that we have Don Felker and then decapitalize was decapitalizing this, if this was a sentence, so I could say, hello world. And if I were to run it again, we would see that the sentence hello world is decapitalized by decapitalizing the first letter. If I realized I wanted everything to be lowercase, I'd say to lowercase, and I could set run, and then that would actually allow me to create this as all lowercase. Now strings are, are built inside of Kotlin with double quotes. So we could say, say first name is Don, and that's a double quote. There's also another type. Anytime we're working with like characters, we can then use what's known as a char. So I could say val c, and that could be of type char equals x. But hold on a second. Here's a weird thing. It's only a single character. Why is it complaining? That's because in Kotlin, if you want to define a character, you have to define it with single tick quotes. So single quotes allows you to implement a char, which is a single character representation. Now there are some things that are actually, that are, that are some caveats to this. So there's also characters such as the tab character that you have to escape with a slash T. There's the N for the new line. And of course, the double slash for backslash and various other different types of escapes that you're going to try to do. And Kotlin, a char represents a 16-bit Unicode character. So anytime you need to use a single character, you're going to want to use char. Now this doesn't limit you from also using a single character string if you would like to. You could say string foo equals y. And this would still work. You could still work with a, a value of string. However, a string is going to be larger in memory than a character but you could still use a string if you'd like to. However, if you know that you're only going to be working with single characters, then you would use the char type. 